Hi, Good day. Valor. How are you? Hi, Valerie Burton. How are you? Good. I've interviewed with you before. It's been a while. We, yeah, it's been a while because we miss you in Dallas. You know, <laughs> I know about you. I know. I can't believe I've been gone so long now. Time goes by very quickly. Mm -hmm. I want to let my listening audience know that I have the pleasure and the honor to talk with Valerie Burton. <laughs> She's going to help you boost your confidence, and this is all I've ever known her to do. She's a best-selling author, and she's going to share those positive tips with us today. What do you got for us, Valerie? <laughs> well, it is so good to be with you. You know, I've partnered with Listerine for their Listerine 21-Day Challenge, which I absolutely love because it's based on this whole idea that um, it, research shows it takes about 21 days for us to form a habit. And so for many of us, when we have goals and habits, we tend to make them really big. And sometimes when they're too big, they can overwhelm us and we end up giving up. So the whole concept here is take a really small goal, swishing for 30 seconds twice a day, and after 21 days, it just becomes uh, something that you have in your regular routine. Your mouth is a whole lot healthier, but we have to look at it in terms of what does that do for building our confidence? And for many of us, we just need to break our goals down into smaller, more doable segments, and we would see much greater results. How do you think our audiences are doing, yours and mine, how they're doing on those resolutions they make? Because those are nothing <laughs> most times but habits. Oh, my goodness. So a lot of people set their resolutions without any sort of a plan or a strategy. Um, and so probably somewhere around January 5th, they were pretty much done with their <laughs> resolutions. But for those who set goals that were doable they are definitely seeing progress. And from a psychological standpoint, there's something called self-efficacy, which is just our belief that we can do it. And so when we accomplish smaller goals, we actually begin to believe in the possibility of that bigger goal coming to life. So even if you set some resolutions and you fell off the wagon with those, I would really encourage you to step back and say, well, what's one really small but meaningful change that I could make because we can always start again. That really is the key to success, being willing when you have a setback to get back up and try again. Okay, so if we do the Listerine Challenge, I think it's a great place for people to start, yeah. especially to kind of drop the ball on their goals. <laughs> Say, okay, I'm going to do this for 21 days because it's a known product. It's a familiar product. It's not anything strange to them. Right. So if we can do that for 21 days, that can kind of get us back in motion to make those small goal changes, correct? Absolutely, and I think it's a great challenge to do with family. Like my husband and even my kids use the kids' version of Listerine with the whole frozen theme because that's fun for them. And when you do it with other people, it's kind of this accountability, but it makes it more fun. And you try it together. Yesterday, actually, my husband called me and said he came back from the dentist and they said his gums were just perfect, which hasn't happened for like three years. So I think for us, it's been a matter of, you know, what, let's, let's try this together. And we've actually added on our own smaller goals. Mine are around my writing. My husband, uh, it's been around his eating habits. And so we have found that having some other smaller goal like the Listerine 21 Day Challenge has encouraged us to say, well, hey, what else is it that we would like to do? Well, tell your husband, I don't know him, but tell him kudos on his getting a great report <laughs> from the dentist. The reasoning being is I don't seek outside validation, but my dentist and my doctor, <laughs> I love that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I know how he felt when they said that to him. Well, Valerie, let me ask you, I see you on the Dr. Oz show, CNN, Oprah Magazine. You're a success story. I remember when you were talking self-help. And not a lot of people who look like you were talking mm -hmm. self-help. And you have made such inroads in this field. So I've got to ask you for my audience. We're global, but, you know, I'm based in Dallas. What is your secret to understanding how to propel yourself to success? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't feel like I've propelled myself. I wanted to know my purpose, and I literally prayed about it and had an epiphany uh, 15, gosh, almost 16 years ago in 1999 when I still was living in Dallas that I was supposed to inspire others to live more fulfilling lives, that I do it through writing and speaking. And I got to tell you, the secret is that I've stuck with it. Um, I originally self-published, then got picked up by a bigger publisher, and I've just continued writing. This is my passion. It's what I was put on the planet to do. And I think all of us have to find what is that singular way that people's lives are better when they cross paths with us? And when you can answer that question for yourself, how is someone's life better when they cross paths with me? 
then you get to the answer of what your purpose is. And it's different for all of us. But when you know your purpose, you persevere in it because it's something you're passionate about. You know it's why you're here. And you know what? You cannot fail at the thing you were created to do. So get clear about your purpose and just keep moving forward with it, even as I have had many times, even when you have setbacks. Well, you're definitely a move forward, not a setback. <laughs> I want to thank you for this Valentine's Day conf confidence and great inspiration for a 21-day challenge. Once again, where do you want to send my audience on the web? Well, they should go to listerine.com forward slash 21-day challenge. They can register. There are lots of videos from me and some of our other experts really encouraging you, not just in the area of your oral health care, but also in nutrition and fitness and home organization. So Listerine has really created a great challenge that's very holistic. Um, Listerine.com slash 21 day challenge is where they can register. Well, we'll be looking for your face to be splashed over books, bestsellers, and all the other airways. Valerie Burton, I want to thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. You've made my day. Thank you, Valder. You've made mine, too. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>